Yeah, I'm about to show you how to install this in a matter of minutes. Merry Christmas. Hey, what inspired me to do this video? Actually, it's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, if I didn't say it in the last clip. But um, it's purchasing my son basketball goal, and I like to use YouTube to help me out, assist. It's like a cheat code um, along with the manual. Went to YouTube, could not find a video of how to put together this goal. So that inspired me to go ahead and make one and maybe I can help somebody out there that's looking to install their goal. Okay, in the box it comes with these two with a three quarter inch, um, nine sixteen and a half inch. That's all you need. But if you want to, you can um, get your own socket or not, get a little strong one. And I use my drill, but really everything you need is in the box in these two. But this is just for convenience and I'm used to using these two, so. But this is what I needed. These three, see I already. to step six. Step six is where you get in this pole. This pole is marked as G. So it's gonna be like that, G. And you make, you can identify with stickers and stuff like that. It's gonna have two squares at the back. And so you can use screw from our back five. Hold on, hold on. Groove set, all right, for back three. Sorry, for bag three. Yeah, to secure the mount plate. So this is the mount plate that's in, in there. You can put it on the put it on this bolt. You don't want that. The groove side, that's the back side. And that's the top side. So it's gonna go in right here. And that's it. And you'll see a little lipid right there. A little nipple. And that's gonna go in on that groove side of C. So, and then you want, you want to have it all the way down there. Down there. So I'm gonna go on to work. Uh, just some tips to for you guys. Um, Make certain you don't start your project in the house. Um, you, it, it benefited me because I was out in the sun. Um, or I did it, I used a little garage, but make certain you have everything right there where you need. It's pretty good if you have a second set of hands because uh, when you get to like in putting the poles together, you don't want too much pressure on one pole where it's, you know, just, but a second pair of hands wouldn't help, wouldn't hurt, I should say. And um, that's that's all the tips I have just at this point. But throughout the video, you'll see some tips more specific to what the job you're doing. And a drill will be useful, can be useful, but uh, nothing really needs to be super tight. So when you're doing it, make sure you just have the pounds down if you're using it. A lot of these things um, can be hand tightened or hand loosened when you're taking it apart. But, uh, but this can be helpful if you know how to use it correctly. I think first step, you wanna have everything together. Don't start in the house and try to make it outside the house. Go ahead and get it to an area that's big enough where you can go between the doors as the base of it is pretty wide and that will be your first, one of your first steps. Assembling the base, so stay tuned, see? Tip, fellas, for you guys, just like to pull out the bag. You may want to get a little cheap. And look, they have the bags labeled. Uh, and I think they're going in sequential order. Bag one. Then it goes, yeah, bag one. Let me tell you, bag two. And you can find bag, where is that? Bag three and so on. So it may go in order, so pay attention to that. You got three fourths and a half. And that bad boy. All right. Since I am going by directions, um, step one, 
it would be to install these wheels. They were installed. They were there with an axle on that earlier in the box. And all you have to do is just put the, um, the axle, which is this little pipe, um, and put it through there. And you kind of press it down, force it, snap it into place, and you have your wheels in place. That's step one according to the box. Really easy. All right, now you're going to look for pole C. Pole C is like this at the bottom. It's going to have this already installed on there. So that's where we're going to go right here. And we're putting it inside of there. So we're still with step, we're on step two. Where we're trying to get that bad boy to look like that. Get the base going there. And bag one, two. This pops is going to go. So you're going to screw, thread screw bottom hole. Part C through the hole on base part A. Then use a round plate part D nuts in bag one and a wrench half inch to secure the bottom pole part C to base as I'm showing it right here. So all right, and then looking at it, you'll see a little groove in there. And you'll know this indicates this is the back side of the pole, back side of the pole, this little groove. I got that one man band in it. When you get to this part, I tried to put it up vertically, which was really difficult. I had a bad angle on it, a lot of pressure on there. Turn it sideways. Turn it sideways. Next step, you have one long bolt, right? You know, one long bolt. You're gonna push it through all the way through your pole. And you're gonna screw it back over here. And it's where you're gonna have the lock nut, or the washer lock nut, then your, this right here, your brace, and your, and your nut. Now you're gonna semi-tighten it. You're not gonna tighten it up until after step five. Now we're gonna just connect those as well. So here we go. Good. Really on step four, but we're making progress. This is where you're gonna lock the bottom pole braces. That's part E uh, to the base, which is part A. Um, that's pre-installed. And these nuts right here, you're not going to lock them down. Right, just yet. Yeah. Just screw them in. And we're making a little progress right there. Just stable base, really quick. Kind of doing it slow. Step seven, even though I told you guys to get everything kind of sort of together outside, we need it. Even though it's Christmas, and I'm going, uh, even though it's Christmas, 
it's 70 70 some degrees in Arizona and the sun was it was like one o'clock 11 o'clock ish and the sun was beaming down on me so I'm glad I left this inside I'm gonna work inside on this one where we're attaching um, holes J and K to the back and you can see hole J it's clearly a little bit longer than hole K so there they are and um, we have the nuts and this is going to require a 3 4 inch so I went and got that one because it's going to look like it's two bolts and you may need the whole one so I just went and got my additional one in comparison to what they provided as well so all right we're going to go to that uh, Quick, uh, you can notice um, I have it the same direction as on the paper for step 7. These are called elevator tubes right here. This is where you send the elevator tubes. Your J's are longer than your K's. And your J's will be on the bottom. Right, two holes. The bottom hole, right there. Line up right there. And there's a top hole. And that's where your K's. And so, and here are the screws that come in there as such. You're going to line up in the way you need to have them. But I'm going to take this one just for showing. So, you have this washer on the outside, of course. And yeah. And after that, after you push that on through, you will have your that black plastic one. Go ahead and put that black plastic one in. Then after the black plastic one, that's when you put your, your elevator pole. And you come back real, yeah, put your elevator pole. Come with your washer. And you go like that. And so as I told you earlier, I have both of them so I can hold one in place and then twist at the same time. Not gonna over tighten it or nothing like that. But I'm gonna do that one by one. I'll do a little laps for a couple of seconds, but I have to go. tighten these two however um, I thought they would need a little slack and if I need to tighten them I'll tighten them more, more. but um if you guys can leave some comments or some in the bottom that'll help me out um, but I'll have it I'll do some adjustments as needed but yeah we off this step and now we're going to the next step all right well, we're going on to step eight uh, where we're going to have to locate part M. Part M is the pole, which is the top, very top part of the pole. And that's where we put the triangular thing. We're connecting um, the triangle connection plate, part N, the top plate to this. And so, what we're doing, there are the, uh, let's get some, some light. There are two holes you see at the top. There are the screws in there for them. So, we're gonna get to working it. Alright, so I have the pole right here. And the pole, you can see four holes at the top. And the way you wanna put it, put that triangle. This triangle. Actually, come out the back of there. You're gonna take that screw out. Take that nut off. Excuse me. And once you take it off, wash it. when you do replace it, put the washer on the outside. So you find a hole. Find your other hole. Put your washer on. Let it go through. Tighten it up. Show on the outside. 
besar This is the segment where I said an extra person would be useful. What you were witnessing is, I have to take this this nut, this um, bolt, all the way through. So, and all the way through, you have to make certain you hit the first tank, and make sure you have a washer on the outside. Hit this pole, um, elevator pole, which is J. And after J, make sure you have your plastic there. And after your plastic, you're gonna catch, catch that triangle um, plate, go through your pole, Hit your triangle plate again, get your plastic, and then go through your um, elevator pole, elevator pole J, um, washer, and then you're ready to close it up with the nut. There you go, you have a good assembly right there. But it's gonna take a little uh, wiggling or whatnot to get it right. But uh, it's pretty straightforward. And I was kind of doing it with myself, doing by myself. There you go going on to the next one now that we have this together we're going to go right roll right into step 11 and that's where we're connecting this adjuster bar um lever lever whatever it is we're going to get that on there with this last screw and so since i've been working with the screw from left to right i'm going to do that on here same thing where i'm going to have the nut and the washer on the outside the pole is going to catch it then I have the plastic, then I have this pole, and then another plastic, a pole, washer, then the, uh, it's just the same configuration as that right there, so bear with me. Okay guys, when you're doing this, make sure you use the right screws, because um, you have one that's labeled nine, you have another one that's labeled nine, and this one is labeled 10. These long screws that go from left to right, 
Here's this one is called 10 and you need to use this 10 for the last one for this pole because they are measured accordingly. These are a little bit thicker than those. So I learned for you guys. Which I had them up right, but I kind of question it. But reading is fundamental, it's there. <laughs> so make sure you have this 10, 9, 9. And you can proceed. So we're going on to the next one, we got it there. And next we're gonna add that middle section. And it has a hook. Oh, I got it upside down. No, I don't have it upside down. But yeah, we're gonna have the hook, but that's it. Step, step 12, um, this is where I'm connecting the top pole to this middle pole. And you wanna be certain that the dimple on the top pole goes all the way through to the edge. There's a dimple, let me show you. Little nugget, whatever you wanna call it. Little notch, got a notch. It's gonna line up with the back end of that pole. You wanna make certain it goes all the way through to the bottom. Let's see how easy it is. Come on, try it. And this should line up with that. Uh, I'm gonna give it a first spill. Yeah, it went there, but I don't know how to make certain it's there. But uh, as you see, those can line up. Give me a second, one man band. Let's do it. these is snug, those pretty snug. Next step is step 14. I'm adding this segment to that segment. Um, I want to push it a little more. Uh, I'm not going to demo for you guys and break it up for you guys. So, Alright, so we're going to add this segment to So, I, I don't like it as a little crooked. But we'll figure it out. Uh, I didn't have the two harnesses say to snap in there. I just kind of muscled it up there. But um, I'll do some adjustments. And I didn't put water in it. But um, before I put the rim up, I put some kind of weight on the back cover. Where it's water or sand. Who knows? All right. Going to the next step. It's pretty easy. I think we're going to just put the rim on. Because this driveway is on the incline, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up. I'm not putting it with sand. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let the water hose. And what I'm gonna do, keep it down. I understand there's a film on there that I have to pull off anyway. And next thing I'm gonna just pull my truck up or get on the ladder and put the rim up. And I already have the nets on. So just yeah, stay tuned for that. No, stay tuned for how to put the nets on properly. So um, it's pretty simple, but I'll give you a demo if you're hands on, if you need to see with a visual. So so we're just filling up, cause I, like I say, we're off on an incline and I don't wanna let it fall. And I'll show you how to pull the plastic off too, cause it's plastic on there as well.
right now on to step number 15 and on that that's just installing the rim and with the rim your nuts are going to be already um, your bolts are already going to be in there with your washers and your um, lock nuts uh, knowing how i like to work them i like to take it all the way out i think you should <laughs> take all of everybody stick them all the way out and start with the top two um, and just tighten it down and so i will uh, go ahead and get that i'm gonna i'm gonna use a little step better i have the water in there but i'm gonna use a little step better so i won't be overworking i'm not the tallest person Even though you see everybody in the neighborhood with basketball goals, don't mean it's super easy. Um, it is a job. Uh, I'll say it's a medium level job, but um, it's nothing too hard. It shouldn't take too long. I took freaking breaks and I was out there recording and stuff like that. But uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you have a second person, that will make your time better. But um, that's all the tips I have for you. Good luck.